But we have been celebrating the impressive career of our very own Tom Skilling all month long before his well-deserved retirement. Tonight, what it's like to work with him behind the scenes. As a co-worker and a friend, there's no one quite like Tom freaking Skilling. <laughs> I can't imagine Chicago without Tom Skilling. Oh, I watched you for years. How do we retirement? People think he creates the weather. There's been a lot said about that. As soon as I had the opportunity to come to WGN, I thought, you know, I'm going to be sitting next to the king. Time for a little Tom and 10. Yes, indeed. And a beautiful day on the way tomorrow, and we begin to warm up again. But, uh... I used to keep a boat up at Waukegan Harbor, and I invited Tom up one Saturday. It's about a five minute walk from the harbor office to my boat. It seemed to take him a half an hour to make that five minute walk, because everybody's got to stop and talk to him. And he gives every single person their own individual forecast. Well, we've got a, we, we, we've got a beautiful series of days coming up. That's for you, Tom. Thornton Township's supervisor is... I can remember being in other countries around the world when we were a superstation. People would recognize me and say, hey, Bob, hi, how's WGN? How's Tom Skilling? There is a, uh, a bagger at, at a grocery store where I go to. And every time I'd go into that grocery store, he would uh, call my name out, but then he'd say, where's Tom? So I said, you think you'd like to talk to him? Oh, I'd love to talk to him. And he said he chose a Saturday and set the time and everything at 10 o'clock. And uh, he was at the location when I got there. That's the kind of guy that he really is. Josh, our son, decided to get into meteorology. So I asked, can you spare a few minutes, Tom, to talk to him and encourage him? And of course, you know, Tom, oh yeah, bring him in, no problem. It was so inspiring to Josh. It really was. Here you can see uh, the three-dimensional portrayal of these towering cumulus clouds. Tom is a perfectionist, and when he doesn't get it right, he feels a sense of guilt, a sense of responsibility, because he genuinely cares about the population of Chicago and, and kind of bears the weight of it on his shoulders. The one thing he cannot do, though, is sing. A one, two, take. Not that I'm a good singer, but compared to him, I'm like Pavarotti. I don't care if I ever get back home. If you go ask Tom about the forecast for any place you're going on vacation, Tom, I'm going down to Florida. You know, what do you think? He pulls up a forecast. He doesn't just say, great, it's going to be nice. Oh, Dina, look at this system moving through here. It pumps this ridge up as a big upper buckle, northward buckle in the jet stream develops. He's given Chicago one great big science lesson. He really, I think, spent the at least the first half of his career thinking every single day that he would be fired. <laughs> And that can build 20-foot waves. At times in winter, you can get piles of ice. He deserves this retirement. He just does. All your buddies. Oh, yeah. Oh, my word. I, I, you know, I'm a little flustered by all I, this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you better you get know, we, a lot more to come. We, yeah. we <laughs> sit back there in that little windowless office and uh, do our thing, and you don't think about this. I, I'll tell you, I'm blessed to work with absolutely amazing people. And boy, was it fun to see Bob Jordan, I Mark Zappel. So go down the list. I'll I tell know. you, Pam Grimes. Uh, Muriel Claire. Muriel and, Claire. Oh, my God. Oh Dan Rohn the, decided to even come back. Dan <laughs> Rohn, I'll tell you, is that great? Oh, well, my God. And pretty soon you'll have retired underneath your name. I know. Like the rest of them. But, you know, don't we have a wonderful place we work For here? For sure. Yeah. I mean, the people we work here yeah. is, and, and the relationship between this television station and our community I mean, you know, some stations have monikers like Chicago's very own, uh, our moniker, but mm. ours really is true. We are Chicago's yes, very own. exactly. And, and part of that is our viewers, uh, you know, a big part of it. So uh, this has been fun. I, I'm a little amazed at all this coverage. <laughs> and Pam Grimes is right. I thought I was going to be fired the first three quarters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, uh, the Tommy Skillethead thing yeah. with Steve and Gary, yeah. I thought, 
well, that's it. It's mm. all over after that. You and that know? just boosted your yeah. popularity. Yeah. yeah, there was a whole demographic that thought, who is this guy that they're doing every day? And so it's it's been fun. Well, it really you're is. You're getting a sense well, of how much you mean to everybody. So that's what's wonderful well, I'll about tell it. you, Ray. I, nine more days. So nine nice. more days. I know. Right. Thank right. you, guys. Right. Thank you, Tom. You bet, guys.